Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mine the Sysmon event log for file hash information using PowerShell. The first thing that we need is some events. I'm going to use the get win event commandlet to collect a hundred events, and I'm going to use an XPath filter to say I want event ID number one. Event ID number one for Sysmon is a process creation event and the file hash information is logged in that event. So that's the event we're interested in and where we're going to get the file hash information. I'm going to take those 100 events and store them in the raw events variable. Now let's have a look at a sample event. So a sample event contains all of these properties, but it's not until we get to the message property that we find the kind of information that we're really interested in which is the executable that the process is actually running the file hash information that we're interested in. So we'd have to do some kind of processing on the message property to get what we need. We could do things with regular expressions, but something that I found quite useful is to take the events and convert them into an XML representation. And this allows us to use PowerShell's XML processing capabilities to help us later on. So having taken our raw events, we want to convert them into XML. We use the toXML method for each individual event, and then we wrap all of that up with an events root node to make the XML document well formed for further processing. We're going to store that in our events variable. Let's have a look at the XML representation of an event. So the XML representation of an event has two nodes, a system node and an event data node. Under the system node are event identification fields. So there, event ID, when the event was collected, what event channel was being used. Under the event data node is the actual information being logged as part of the event. And you can see that the kinds of fields that we were interested in from the raw event are now a bit more accessible. So we've got our XML events, but we have got two nodes. We might want to flatten that out because we might want to collect event ID information from the system node, as well as event data information from the event data node. I tend to use a function, convert to custom. And basically what this does is it goes through each of the events that we've collected it grabs a couple of pieces of information from the system node, the event ID and the event record ID, and then it grabs everything from the event data node. And it basically adds all of these as note properties or script properties to a custom object. The script properties are doing further processing on the hashes property of the event, allows us to split out the hash type and the hash value, which is stored as one long string in the event property itself. So once we've created a custom object for each XML event objects, we then emit those at the end of the function. So let's load that function into memory and then let's run it. So now I have a set of PowerShell custom objects stored in the event objects variable, and we can do various different kinds of output to them. So the simplest one is basically an output to the screen. One of the things that you might notice here is that you've actually got multiple entries for the same executable and they do have the same hash. So you might say, well, actually what I want is just the unique file hash information. So we can use get unique to do that for us. And that gives us a much reduced list of file hash information. We can take the results of that and we can put it onto an HTML clipboard we can put it onto a CSV file. We can send it down the pipeline for further processing by other PowerShell scripts or other functions, whatever we want to do. So that's all there is to mining the Sysmon event log for file hash information using PowerShell.